Okay. So I hope everyone heard me well. So welcome everyone. <laughs> and my name is Mateusz Zaremba and together with Krzysz Krzysztof Kluza, we will have a pleasure to present the work of our research group entitled uh, Case Study of Designing Interface of the AGH Students Information Bulletin Work Support System. So I give the floor to Krzysztof. In our paper, we discuss the problem associated with the lack of unified system for handling work and uh, processes based on the example of the um, AGH Me Media Center, and they've got their bulletin. Um, and in, in the case of, uh, they asked us for um, some support in, in their systems. Um, these problems have become particularly noticeable at the time of the organization um, organization's transition to a remote working mode. Um, so the example used in this paper uh, is the design of the process handling interface implemented in um, in the some of the department uh, independent uh, editorial board of the of the bulletin. And generally, the history of uh, this student magazine dates back um, about 1988. Um, and since then, the bulletin editorials uh, team has greatly expanded the scope. And today, it not only um, publishes the, the student magazine, but also maintains website, podcasts. Um, so there are many problems with managing the, the editorial uh, board and um they do not have one single system for that uh, so that's why they wanted to change something in this in this case um the bulletin is composed of the three main departments journalism graphic and promotion um there is a the promotion is connected with cooperation and most of the processes are within the single uh, department but the projects carried out by the editorial office link Mm, links to the work of all departments. So we had to treat them as some sub processes of the core workflows. And, mm, and uh, as our uh, main goal was to create the user interface for editorial office, um, we analyzed the existing methods of the user uh, interface design. So a precursor to viewing computer systems from the perspective of the user interface is American computer scientist Ben Schneiderman. Uh, Schneiderman, who defined Schneiderman's eight golden rules of the interface design, and Jacob Nielsen, who made ten usability heuristic for user interface design. Uh, today they are considered to be father of the user experience design. So I will introduce these principles briefly. So uh, next slide, please, Krzysztof. Uh, so first, uh, golden rules of interface design is strive for consistency. So the principle refers to the need to use the same terminology when giving the same information and marking the same action. Uh, but also to use color codes for interactive and fixed elements, the same icons, call to action, uh, or consistent sequence of action in similar situation. Uh, next principle is enable frequently user to use shortcuts. So the frequency of system use increases the desire to reduce the amount of interaction time increases. Uh, hidden commands, remembering once entered data, autocomplete data, and all shortcuts are appreciated by regular user. And it's really important. Important, for example, when we have a six page long uh, form on website, and you will make a mistake on first page, you must do come back to first. And when you uh, write correct data, the rest of them should be auto-completed. So it's really important. Next uh, principle is offer informative feedback. 
the principle refers to the fact that uh, with every user action there should be feedback from the system telling about the success of a uh, lack of success of the action and it's important because every regular user wants to know what's happening in this moment in a system. Uh, fourth rules design dialogue to uh, yield closure. The action the user take should have a clean beginning and end. And uh, this means that the user at each step of the process should know at which point they are. Next slide, please. Thanks. Uh, so, uh, next rules is prevent error. So the system should inform the user of the errors it makes and their the severity and type, but should also do some in a, so so in a manner that is as bending as possible. Uh, next uh, principal. Sixth is permit easy reversal of action. So the principle refers to the allowing the user to reverse their own action. In performing an action, users will make mistake and so the key to the reducing their frustration when they make them is to ensure that at any time their mistake can be corrected. Uh, Next principle is support internal logs of control. So the principle encourage putting the user into the role of initiator of system action. The user uh, should feel that is a user who decided how the system functions after all, and the system is a tool in the user hand. Almost uh, most of system are only uh, are created for users, so it's also really important. And the last one is reduce short term memory load. The principle refers to the limited capacity of human short term memory. So to the best of today's knowledge, uh, it can hold seven plus or minus two items. Therefore, the interface should not require the user to remember more information at once. And this is a really uh, golden rules. And uh, there is used in uh, many other uh, place. Okay. So generally, we took into account these principles and also some other principles which can uh, which you can find in our paper. And our main goal was to just create the interface, um, but uh, it was necessary to recognize the detail, the, the, in detail, the scope of the needs of the editorial uh, members. Um, and uh, we also wanted to explore the processes occurring in the editorial office. Um, and created the models depicting the, these, these processes. Uh, so based on that, we could uh, see where, uh, in fact, there, there is a need for, for some um, additional interface, some additional tools. Um, and we analyzed the communication channels and the organizational documents provided by the uh, editorial office and performed the um, in-depth interviews. Uh, so uh, the interviews were semi-structured with detailed questions uh, subject to uh, modification during the interviews. Um, the, there was, of course, primary um, scenario, uh, preliminary um, uh, scenario for the uh, for the interview, uh, and we've got the interviews with different um, uh, people and um, engaged in the uh, in the process. Uh, although the main principles of building uh, collaborative online applications have been widely discussed for many years, uh, currently there is more focus on improvement of overall user um, experience. Um, and in our, our case, we also took into account the role of social ma media, which are increasingly more present um, and as some collaboration tools in companies and organizations. 
Um, so for the development of the prototypes of the user interface, we wanted to take advantage of uh, social media and, and business process models. Um, and since the, they did not use any integrated IT system, um, we couldn't um, sort of acquire any any process in an automate, automated way. So we just um, had to do this in the um, manual way um, by interviews and discover uh, the processes based on interviews and manual uh, um, document analysis. Um, so we uh, defined the activities with uh, with the um, people um, from the, the um, editorial board and then after defining the activities we um, uh, try to find the sequence of the, the activities, uh, find the sub-processes. For this task we use the method uh, justified aggregation of neighbor, neighboring activities. So this was the, the method which, uh, like it was a simple method but we, we took um, advantage of it um, to sort of um, aggregate the, the nearest neighboring activities in such a way that it will be useful for uh, user interface um, design. And the, after gathering these processes, um, uh, creating the information architecture diagrams of the panels of each role, the mockups and prototype of the system um, uh, was performed. So we designed the, uh, we prepared some schematic design uh, of the screens uh, that are key to carrying out the processes performed in the editorial office. Um, and in these screens, the layout of each page, the placement of each action, uh, labels and uh, other elements were uh, uh, were shown. Uh, so these prototypes were mostly made in grayscale with some color coding um, in place where the types of color, uh, type of color indicates some status of, of some actions. So in, in this figure uh, you can see that uh, there is, this is just a home page uh, with some task list and uh, mm, a user is uh, in here um, uh, have a role uh, in the journalism department and um, uh, at the very top of the side navigation bar um, uh, there are some information about the, the user and then um, you've got some actions which you can click to uh, to go to other um, parts of the of the interface and uh, as meetings were the important issues and, and sub processes um, there is a separate tab for, for the meetings overview. Um, there is also the, the tab for a quarterly issue, which is sort of the main process of the, of the bulletin, a quarterly issue of the bulletin. Uh, uh, so here, this is the um, management part for the, for the quarterly issue uh, in, this, uh, in the central part of the, this prototype. Uh, interface, uh, we can easily see the status, status of, of each text for the bullet, bulletin. Um, and finally, we've got also some administration um, elements in which the administrator can check the dashboard with the statistics for the quarterly issue. So, so the whole interface was uh, for, for all the, of the um, elements was, was prepared. And um, and it was demonstrated to the um, to the uh, um, bulletin um, um, office, and the purpose of our paper was just to present the step by step uh, case study um, of designing a system user interface based on some um, research empirical research with the um, with the editorial members. Uh, following some observation of the of the usage of um, um, social media uh, and uh, designing the process models um, and we provided the uh, the interface for 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 them um, and the, for 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 this purpose we analyzed these uh, these uh, activities we uh, and and processes um, and using our knowledge of the, the interface design, we designed the system uh, that reduces the need of use, uh, usage of many different tools and provide 
a unified platform uh, for most of the of the processes for the um, an editorial board. Um, so we hope that this will enable um, sort of elimin and eliminate the errors uh, made during the uh, usage of the um, of the platform. So thank you very much for for listening and. Uh, we are open for some questions. Okay, thank you, uh, Krzysztof and Mateusz, for this interesting presentation. And I officially start the discussion. Please let me know if you have any questions, remarks. Mieczysław, you have a question. I will try to request un unmute. Okay, now we can. Often we, we are worried about not good prepared interface. So in your case, your solution can be uh, universal, let's say, or closer to a group of people who are uh, responsible for some uh, information bulletin. Here it was addressed exactly for students, but uh, I'd like to ask about universality of your uh, solution. So, um, like uh, generally, the, the, the process of designing can be universal, but the interface, I don't think so, because um, the, the uh, uh, important element of the, the process was that we were focused on the processes for this particular bulletin and we observed how they use social media. So, I, I can assume that, for example, in um, some uh, more um, serious media, they do not use the social media in the same way or they've got some other media or systems so so i guess they they should the the designers should uh, take this into account and uh, they also have different processes so um so generally the process of designing uh, can be transferred and used in the um, in the same way however the interface will be definitely different and that's why we need designers to do that okay thank you very much are there any other questions uh katarzyna i will try to request a mute okay uh, direction of developing this uh, platform do you have any other ideas and some intra uh, Developing this platform. Sorry, I I didn't uh, I couldn't hear the beginning of your question. Could you? I, I'm wondering I'm wondering what are the directions of uh, the developing this platform. Do you have any ideas to use it in more, you know, solutions in more direction? Uh, right. So so uh, this was just the, the designing of the interface. We uh, gave the, the the design to the editorial board and they are going probably to um, ask uh, probably it will be the um, because this was also a part of, of students work that this this design and probably there will be a next uh, engineering thesis or or uh, or master thesis which will develop the platform based on the um, on this uh, design and i guess when they're like probably based on these designs and the, the, these uh, prototypes um we already can do some um, um experimental research uh, asking for using the just the the design of the the interface um but later when the system works um, there will be the the possibility of of checking how good the system is and also when the system works um, there will be possibility of um, of collecting the data of from the usage and finding the processes how how they really look uh, uh, from the system systems point of view okay thank you so much thank you very much yeah are there any any other questions uh, we have seven minutes delay, but uh, we have uh, some spare time uh, and I will let myself ask uh, two uh, probably last questions. Uh, 
uh, you mentioned at the beginning of the presentation about probably golden golden rules uh, of uh, user interface design. And uh, please uh, please tell me how do you treat those rules? Uh, is this a, a kind of uh, impartial true which is applicable in every context, or are there any situations where we can question those rules and discuss them and do something against those uh, those rules? And the uh, second question. Um, you mentioned these social media, those platforms. Do you think Facebook, Messenger, Google, Microsoft follow those uh, rules? Uh, are they uh, well designed and well prepared for uh, final users? What's your opinion on that? Well, um, I, I think uh, in even if uh, everyday life we also have some rules, but there's always the the situation in which you have to not follow the rule because of some exception. So in the same as with user interface. So there are rules which are sort of guidelines, which are sort of the, the target, but we shouldn't follow them blindly. We, we should just uh, check how, in, how the users uh, cooperate with the interface and then, um, then decide if the, the following these rules is um, if we should follow the, the particular rule or not. This is, I guess the, the rules are mostly some, uh, well, th these are golden rules, right? But we do not uh, create interface in gold, but just uh, in, in real life. So, so probably if you, uh, if you want to do a golden interface, then you should follow all of them. But if you just want to create a usable interface, uh, I don't think all the all of the rules are are uh, so strict and and important. Um, and in case of the social media, um, well, uh, uh, what was uh, exactly the the point of the the. Um, uh, Question. Okay. So, so, my, so my question is: Do you think that uh, those huge companies like Facebook, uh, right. Microsoft, Google, do they follow those rules? Because uh, 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 I observe that those tools are designed in a slightly different way, and it is uh, quite difficult for user to switch from uh, using uh, one interface to another. Well, I think. Uh... They, they follow some of the rules, right? For example, they usually give some feedback, for example, right? So if you, uh, if you look at the interface uh, of logging to the tools, you will usually get the information about, like, like if your password is strong, if uh, uh, that, that you forgot your password or something like that. So some of the rules definitely they follow, but some of the rules they create, and also, as they are big players, they can sort of um, enforce to use their tools in such a way as they want, right? So then we sort of try to, to use them in that way. Okay, thank you very much.